love when I get the nice view of the clouds flying into your country. I am literally so excited for Jamaica. We made it to Montego Bay. There is nothing better than walking to the airport and having that warm air freaking hit your skin and the sunshine. I was so excited to have escaped the winter. We got picked up by our man O'Shane, who had this gigantic bus that literally fit 25 people and there was only us four in it. Had a nice little 45 minute drive to the resort, got there, so freaking pretty. And of course, they had delicious rum punches at the entrance. And let me say, they were really strong. They got your vacation started just right. Sipped one of those down and then we started to explore around the resort a little bit. And of course, had to get the last bit of the afternoon sun. We got there kind of late in the afternoon. So sat by the pool, got my second drink, had to have a little pina colada to start off my pool time at vacation, obviously. And then we headed off, got ready for dinner, had some delicious food. And then there was a little violin show, but I'm telling you, I was so freaking tired that I did not last long this night whatsoever. Good morning from Jamaica. I am a little burnt, if you can tell, on my face, my chest, but like randomly. Today I'm going to be way better at flying sunscreen. I thought I was better yesterday, but apparently not. But my sister, on the other hand, she is a lobster. She's in a little bit of pain. <laughs> I watched her doing it yesterday. I told her to put on sunblock, but she didn't. But today, we're going to go head down to the beach. Yesterday we sat at the pool. Today's the beach day. It looks gorgeous, and I cannot wait. The sun is just blue skies. Look at this view. beach over there we got the pool obviously and that gorgeous sunshine let's get it and our first full day we headed off and had breakfast right on the pool it was so good honestly i'm not really a breakfast person but there was so much to choose from that i had to have a little bit of everything and bloody mary bar gotta love that although i'm more of a mimosa girl but there was so much food to choose from i was literally so full from pancakes and french toast and donuts and croissants i am such a bakery like pastry person i made a little egg bagel there was nutella crepes like literally just speaking to my soul it was so good but i tried to lose weight going on this vacation and i knew instantly within this first day that i was going to gain weight before we went home but i tried to stay light a little fresh fruit a little bit of watermelon you know some hash browns some toast this is a Bob Mosa, amazing. Then sat by the pool, got some sun and rays. Literally the pool was so nice. I just missed being by the water and having the warmth on my skin, although I did get a little bit burned. And then I had to head back to the room and do a little bit of client work, but at least I got to sit by the balcony and have this amazing, gorgeous view. And then I was able to head back and get some little afternoon sun for the rest of the day. All right, so day one of being full sun in Jamaica completed. Yesterday, as you saw, we got here, we checked in, we walked around, explored, chilled by the pool for like maybe half an hour. And then we got ready for dinner, had a really early dinner, and then I was literally in bed by 9.30. I meant to film more the first day, but I conked out because we woke up at 4.30 in the morning and I didn't fall asleep until literally like one o'clock in the morning that night because I just couldn't sleep. So your girl was really tired. So today I woke up really early, did some work by the pool, you know, digital nomad life. <laughs> and then just sat by the pool for the rest of the day. This morning was quite cloudy and then the sun came out around like one o'clock and I put on sunblock, but I guess I missed spots because I don't know if you can see this video, like this, my traps, if I even had traps, my traps are burnt to a crisp, like both sides and then my right arm is burnt but my elbow area is white and safe this is burnt i have a little tan line where my bracelet is going for the resort this arm not burnt so i'm gonna have to find a way to even out that color tomorrow and then my hips like my hips my god they are fried very very bad my tan line and i'm like okay this is day one we're only here for a few days so it's gonna hopefully even out and be okay because my chest looks like a four-year-old applied sunblock on me because apparently i am the four-year-old that applies sunblock <sighs> but now i'm ready for dinner hoping to eat out this makeup and let's see 
Well, now ready for dinner, as you can see, much more presentable than before. But I covered up most of the giant red spots on my cheeks. But I'm excited for some dinner. We're heading off to sushi and hibachi. So I'm gonna get some good old food in me and some more drinks, because obviously it's all inclusive and unless drinks. And you gotta take advantage of that, duh. So let's go off to dinner and drinks. <laughs> Just danced our lives away for 80s night. <laughs> and now after eating so much food and I went to the buffet for dessert because I saw a really big dessert bar and I needed to do it. I had a bite of everything, do not judge me. I don't hope I don't gain 10,000 pounds from it. Some were delicious, some were not. Then went to the 80s bar, listened to live music, had a little bucky, and then now, it's time to go to sleep and hope that the sunburn wears off a bit in my bed. So <laughs> well, let's hope tomorrow's a little better. See you tomorrow. Go hit the bar, get another drink, enjoy a sunny day. I'm very quiet. So what we're doing, Miss Sammy Sanchez? Down on the Hey, hey, we're saying go. So go, so go, go, so go, so So honestly, like, I thank God for makeup because I am crispy. My armpit line, like this tan line, insane. Why I think I didn't need to put some buck on is beyond me in enough like layers on day one because I just feel like I'm getting crisper and crisper. But we are getting ready to go to sunset. I don't really eat three meals a day and this all-inclusive food, I'm eating so much more food than I normally would. So I think all of the work I did to work out and be healthy before coming to Jamaica has been canceled out by all of this food, but it's okay because we're on vacation and you gotta live a vacation life. But excited for a little sunset and gonna get some good food. We're gonna see who restaurants tonight. Yeah, let's go ahead off to sunset. And check out these sunset views from Sunset Cove right before dinner time. It was absolutely incredible. Having such an amazing time and I cannot wait to share with you guys some more in the next part two video of my Jamaica vlog. Yeah. 